welcome to episode 4 of our blind playthrough of Lords of the Fallen using the Hallowed Knight class. Um, hopefully we have a bit more luck today with performance and uh, the crash issue we faced in the last video. There was a patch when I came off uh, last night so fingers crossed that that may have sorted some of the issues we were getting. So we'll uh, push on Skyrest Bridge again and try and defeat the boss. I know we said we'd try one more time and then maybe try summoning in the Iron Wayfarer to give us a hand but because we didn't finish the last one we'll uh, try it one more time without beckoning the Iron Wayfarer see if we can do it this time. Oh, holy Aureus, by your radiance grant me the strength to continue to endure these dark days, to lay bare the path to salvation for my wayward brothers and sisters, so we may walk it together and to strike down all those who would see our will defied. Even as our suffering continued, I honored my pledge of patience to the Exactor. And yet you now appear before me, a stranger, bearing what was not yours to receive. A betrayal made flesh, and one I cannot brook. So, do I have a decent start? Yeah, dear. that was very good. Could have done with dodging that. Way. A poor substitute. <clears throat> Correct, a poor substitute. Like this is for Dark Souls.
Game seems very juddery again. I'm not sure if the developers are deliberately making the game worse. So when it actually they do release a patch that makes it okay, it actually seems like it's really good because each patch they're releasing seems to make the performance just worse. It always comes down to this. the Iron Wayfarer. It's a good spell disaster for us. Nice one. First try. No expense spared on 
the visual effects of this game. Saint Celestine. I know we uh, had to do it the chicken way. We summoned in someone to help us, but I think it was worth doing in the end just to get that boss out of the way. Brothers and sisters. You honor us and all who came before you with your sacrifices. While I wish they were unnecessary, my wishes will not ease your suffering, but I pray my sorcery does. So at the beginning, the uh, cleric, or paladin, whatever he is, said to meet him in the bowels of Skyrest Bridge, so I imagine this is what he was talking about, down here somewhere. Welcome, Dark Crusader. He's obviously just that one of them red coloured um, red sweets that make your mouth really red. His tongue was bright red then. this vestige, shall we? I'm wondering if one of these NPCs is going to be a shop or like an armour vendor or someone that can upgrade our weapons or something like that. We'll sort of the paladin first, I think. Or cleric, whatever it is. I had no doubt in my assessment of you, as one worthy of the monumental task which lies before us, Crusader. My name is Dunmire, and I am an exactor of the Dark Crusaders, the holy order of which you are now an honored member. The Church of Orion Radiance has assigned to me the duty of purging Mornstead of its Rogar blight, and ensuring the ancient tyrant Adir there was no liberation from his enduring imprisonment. While the schism between the Church and Judge Cleric is of long standing, she and her hallowed sentinels, now perverted, did at least construct Mornstead's radiant beacons, which have prevented Adir's return for centuries. 
But now, they stand corrupted and on the verge of collapse. It is to these five beacons you must turn your eye. Use the Umbral Lamp to cleanse them of a deer's destructive influence, and deliver salvation to a world on the brink of perdition. Rogar and Hallowed Sentinel alike will offer you no quarter, so remember, though Aureus' mercy is without limit, yours should not be. Ah, so he sells stuff. You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. To strive in darkness, in light we walk. A cleric equipment, I think. The people who are more radiant than I am. By Aureus' divine will, I live again. So I think this it's is the lady we've just fought. She's shrunk a bit. And to think I Since raised my fought. sword to you. When all alone you were a divine instrument sent by him to deliver my death and rebirth and bring clarity. Forgive me, lamp bearer. I'm Pieta, of the Hallowed Sentinels, and as Aureus sustains me, so too will I sustain you. Whether by making manifest your potential or through my healing blood, contained within the Sanguinarics you carry. Should you find any saintly quintessences, bring them to me, and they can bolster the power of my blood further still. The beacons must be cleansed. The hallowed sentinels restored, and Adir's malignancy eradicated. Through <clears throat> whatever is to come, fellow chosen of Aureus, we stand together in service of him. Okay, so she'll allow us to upgrade our healing item, I think. Our holy work continues, Lamp Bearer. Give us four charges. Plus 20% healer recovery, which is pretty good, really, so we'll upgrade that. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus' divine radiance flow through me and into you. Nice one. Just talk to this other guy. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. So the Exactus found himself a new instrument. As exactors are wont to do, and given that lamp was intended for me, should his paladin fall, and yet now here you are, lamp bearer. Well, it seems I was right to doubt the value of a dark crusader's word. Ooh, he's a bit moody. I'm Stoneman, captain of the Fidelis. A group of good men and women who've made a stand against the madness which has possessed the rest of the hallowed sentinels. We made a vow to restore our order to its former glory, whatever the cost to ourselves. And by Judge Cleric's grace, we'll honor that vow. That heretical umbral lamp and the Dark Crusaders are necessary evils in these dire times, as are you, it would seem. Perhaps our aims will align further. Or perhaps not. Mm, what is this guy In Radiance, Judgment! Alright, ah, so I think he's similar to us in a way. A knight or maybe a soldier. He seems to sell. That's pretty cool. So that's the sword we've already got. Pike. Shield. It's the same one we've got. That ring looks good though. Ring of Duty. Increased vitality and endurance attributes. Knightly culture has long been a significant aspect of the Kingdom of Hadlane. And jousting, mounted combat, and horses in general are considered vital elements of chivalry. Yeah, I think we'll buy that. That uh, seems pretty good.
that's better than what we've got at the moment. It's a bit heavier. I think we'll leave it at that for now. That ring's definitely... Our Immaculate Lady will bring redemption. Worth getting them. gives us an extra level in endurance and vitality which is always handy Got a look at my stats okay let's have a quick look around the uh, Area. Ah, somebody else there. It's this way. Looking <laughs> at the moment. Look at you, a dark crusader, a lamp bearer, and a revenant to boot. Aren't you the multifaceted one? Well, we Fidelis aren't as fortunate. We tend to stay dead when we die. And Aureus knows enough of us have done just that. Anyway, like Nathaniel says, you keep looking back, you don't see the blade coming at your front. We set ourselves a task and we have to finish it. Best watch a step out there. Mornstead is a land awash in blood, both deserved and undeserved alike. Best watch a step out there. Mornstead is a... Okay, so... You don't really do anything. You might give us quests at a later date. That lamp you've got there is heresy, stranger. But then, seems it's getting harder to tell what is and what ain't nowadays. Ah, <laughs> oh, strange times. But in the end, there's right and there's wrong. And that never changes. And I hope for both our sakes you know the difference. But if in doubt, you heed the captain. He's never steered me wrong, much as he might think otherwise. But if in doubt, much as he might think otherwise. Uh, so Nathaniel must be a follower of the captain. What's this? Too sure what that does. So we'll uh, have a quick look, see if there's anybody else to talk to before we wrap up episode four. I know it's been a lot of dialogue and stuff like that, but still hope you've enjoyed you've seen. What's this guy doing? Ominously looking out into the distance. Oh wow, that looks good. Ah, that's it, isn't it? Oh, the lamp of immortality. And the genuine article. Not a useless empty vessel like the one I saw that witless fool bumbling around with. I've learnt a little since coming to Mornstead about that lamp and the awful mission to which it's attached. I hope you recognize that frightful burden for what it is. In truth, what's been done to you is downright cruel. Of course, some people are born into roles of tremendous responsibility. My name is Andreas of Ebb, esteemed scion of nobility, but far more than that, descendant of the great ruler Antanas himself, as proven by my family's book of lineage for one. That's right. Through my veins flows the blood of the legendary hero who defied Adir and the Rogar and saved the whole world, only to be betrayed and murdered by a common criminal. 
So you'll understand a man of my pedigree cannot simply stand idle while an unfortunate victim such as yourself remains shackled to such a grim fate. Give me the lamp, hmm? and let me shoulder your burden, friend. What say you? No? It saddens me to see you bring such agony down upon your own head. I hope you see sense and reconsider. Hmm. So I'm not sure what he wants the lamp for, but... I can only imagine he wishes to do good with it, but... I probably won't. So, so we'll another quick look around. Make sure we've spoken to everyone we need to speak to. Ah, this looks like there may be... Oh, I thought there would be like a blacksmith or something here, but I imagine maybe a, a mage of some kind will be there at some stage. Yeah. It's weird for Father Christmas. themselves known. Only then can the remaining carrion of creation finally return to the void. Great Umbral Lamp. Okay, so we're gonna chisels do that socket Umbral Eye. What does this do? Ah, so this gives us our lamp better abilities, healing efficiency while in Umbral, and an extra soul charge. That's pretty good, we'll do that for now. I think we can sell him. Chosen bearer of the lamp. These. Like you, I serve. Betrayed. So I'm wondering if I can actually. Until swap her them for something at some stage. So maybe keep hold of them just for now. Too sure what these do. Looks like the uh, three circles are for like cosmetic items or tints to your armour, so I'm wondering if you can trade plucked eyeballs in well enough of them to receive cosmetic items that you can use in game. Okay, so I'll just get out of Umbral. And I think we'll wrap that episode 4 up there thank you very much again for watching I apologise if I was a little bit salty earlier on when uh, getting owned by the boss and uh, if you like well I'll say if you like what you see please like and subscribe and any comments are welcome I'll see you in the next one